meantime, I think this might be time for me. Yeah, I would love that. I was just about Go to transition to yes, you, big yes. guy. I was just about to while, do that. While, 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 while Pat does his thing, capital letters, everybody. Questions. Yeah, send your questions in. In All the meantime, right, go. Let's get ready for a patented Pat Stats segment. I'm going to be putting out the graphic tomorrow so you guys can see it. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are... No, it's gone. Are we still going? It comes and goes, unfortunately. Well, it's, it's us. It's definitely us, but either yeah. way. Yeah, either way. Well, that's not what keeps happening, guys. All right, regardless. Uh, I'll talk for a bit. Hopefully, the echo goes away while you guys are just sitting over there. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, I looked into the numbers a little bit because I wanted to figure out whether or not we were going to be able to rely on Hunjin Ryu this year. And uh, the stats tell us that there could be a reason for Ryu to bounce back. Now, I know we all have our opinions on Danny Jansen, but there's one thing for certain that we can Scrum! say. Yeah, you guys are huge Kirk fans over there. Even though <laughs> hey, Danny Jansen somehow had better hey, stats than Kirk did every year. It's more this guy than me. It's, the cool. it's, it's, it's more cool. this guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, my I'm fine with Jansen for, I think, the reasons that you're about to talk mm -hmm. about right now. So... Danny Jansen and Ryu are actually secretly best friends. They eat breakfast together, they get brunch on weekends. No, but in reality, Danny Jansen just calls such a good game for Ryu. So much so in the fact that Ryu's ERA with Danny Jansen last year was 3.9. And his ERA without Danny Jansen in all the games that he had, mostly Riley Adams and Reese McGuire. Oh no, I restarted the thing, so I'm going to get the actual number in front of me. But it was over 5 for yeah, ERA. It was like 5.05 or something. The strikeouts... Yeah. His average strikeouts per game with any other catcher who was not named Danny Jansen was just under 6. With Jansen was 8.7. His whip was similar, actually not too, too far off. But that's very telling. So anyone who wants to get True. rid of Danny Jansen, you got one more year left of Ryu, you might as well keep Danny Jansen along for the ride. Actually, okay. unfortunately, I think we have two. Two yeah, years yeah, left we of do. Ryu. We have two more years <laughs> left of Ryu. Well, yeah. <laughs> But no, that's great. And I even saw the eye test too when when he was pitching to someone like Reese or or Kirk. Like you know how many times Ryu had to step his off, pitch shake count off, way shake, higher. shake, yeah. shake. Like they weren't on the same page. It's kind of crazy that that's an actual thing that happens. Yeah, there. like for, no, for real. You know, you think that they they would have like worked that. I don't know. Like it's work chemistry, that out. right? It's like yeah. when you think about like I don't want to get back to football, but Aaron Rodgers and Clampy. It's the same thing with catchers. Well, I, I pitchers, understand that. Yeah, I do you know? understand that. You know, but it, it's just like it feels like like wouldn't we get more reps in? like this you know it's like wouldn't there be like more well more... think about it okay who was Ryu's pitcher when you had that like sub three ERA throughout 2020 when he was doing so mm. fantastic it was it was the everyday was catcher Jansen. right it was yeah. Danny Jansen yeah so he's got the chemistry there yeah and when you have to switch it around you got guys coming up through the minors who haven't had that big league experience you know yeah. it messes with the guy's rhythm so what, does, what do we rhythm. think it is? Is it game calling then, or is it absolutely, or? absolutely game okay. calling? Because yeah. that's rhythm. Because like if you are a catcher and you're like and you're throwing on the signs he wants, he can stay in that groove, exactly. in that elastic. Like he's like it's like a dance. Basically. And you would know as a batter, Adam, if you see a pitcher shaking off a bunch of signs, what are you going through your head? Uh, I'm going through that like he's not confident. They're not confident. They're yeah. not confident. Uh, well, for me, it's like I'm sitting on one spot right now. Exactly. You know. I mean, so there you have it, guys. <laughs> Don't get rid of Danny Jansen just yet. We need him for Ryu because he calls such a good game. If you want to see Ryu bounce back, at least we got to get Danny Jansen in one every five games. We need to yeah. get uh, earphone in Alejandro Kirk. Danny Jansen can call the game from the <laughs> sideline. <laughs> you know, it's just like toss one in here. It's just like you know. It's like tell him, just tell him what to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, like, you're gonna get paid still, Jansen. Yeah, you're, you're still paid. <laughs> you're still helping the team just as much. But it's like let's just not have your bat in and like let Kirk do it. Yeah, you know. You know? Also, Danny Jansen, what, is, what does it look like when Danny Jansen goes up to play with these bare hands, baby? <laughs> you know he's going to swing. That'll be the next Pat Stats segment if I can oh, figure I out a way to do that. I thought you had it. Oh. No, no. Uh, yeah, so good. It's so so tell the story. Tell the story of you at the Rogers Center with your brother. Oh yeah. Okay. So here's this. I think it was the first game back that I'd been to last year at the Rogers Center. Okay. So I'm sitting on the 200 deck. Okay. My brother goes to grab a beer. I see Danny Jansen step up to the plate. First, I don't know. If it was the first or second no, at bat of the game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I look over. I'm like, I'm peering with my eyes. I'm like, oh my god, Danny's not wearing the batting gloves anymore. He's barehanded. I know what's going to happen. What does he do? He slaps a dinger all the way out. I'm like, going crazy. My brother comes back with our beers. I'm like, Danny Jansen hit a home run. He's like, nah, shut up. Who hit a home run? I was like, it was Danny Jansen. I'm like, ask this guy. Ask this guy. It actually happened. <laughs> no, nah, shut up. It could be Danny. And Ryu was pitching a gem, too, until like the sixth. Then there was some errors, as usual, that happened. Well, not errors, but the infield just let a couple squeak kind of botched by. some easy routine plays. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's, here's okay. my thing, too. It's like, I like your reasoning. I like all that shit. But it's like, we also got to factor in... Uh, like 3.9, obviously it's better than a 5, yeah. whatever it was. That's still not like 
two and a half Ryu That's or true. anything well, like that. If you want like, to hear part two, actually, I, I completely forgot to say this damn. as well. Another part that adds to the, the credibility of this whole deep dive is the fact that uh, his FIP, I'm going to call it FIP, Fielding FIP. Independent uh, of Pitchers? Is that what it is? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't even know. I just know it's FIP. FIP is FIP, based, yeah. like, the way that I look at it is it's very similar to expected ERA. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, that's that's exactly, exactly what it is. Blah, 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 so blah. Ryu, throughout his entire career, has had usually a slightly lower ERA than his FIP. But with uh, independent, so let's say he had average defense the entire year because Ryu's a ground ball pitcher. If he had yeah, yeah. a better defense, he would have had a much lower ERA. Mm -hmm. So for the first time in his career, his FIP was above his actual, or sorry, below his actual ERA. So if we expect that to balance out next year, that should also help his cause. Assuming that our defense gets better next yeah, year. Yeah, well, again, I, that's why I love Matt right. Chapman. And if he ever comes to, I'll drive him from the airport to the stadium. <laughs> Actually, that's <laughs> facts. If Chapman played third, move SB to second. That Bo would maybe be make improvement. Yeah. Vlad's already great at first. Bizzio, you're done. Yeah. You're done, done Bizzio. Bizzio. <laughs> nah, he can rotate team. in the outfield when needed. You that's know? true. Yeah, and like, yeah. and, and, and then Griffin's done. Bye, Griffin. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.